This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, today I got another lowrider video for you guys. And I am going to be talking about industrial dump valves for your lowrider. Uh, this happens to be a uh, Sterling valve that's an old one uh, built by, uh, by Sterling for Red's Hydraulics back in the day. But let's talk about some of the pros and cons of these, uh, this style industrial dumps for lowriders. So let's talk about some of the components of an industrial uh, style dump. So you are going to have the main body, uh, then you are going to have the coil. If you remove the coil, you're going to have the actual cartridge. Uh, so I'm going to slide off this coil. And this is the cartridge. Uh, this cartridge actually basically um, has a plunger in it and what happens is it will spring back when the coil is energized and what it's going to do is allow fluid that's trapped by a check valve on one side to flow out the back or the bottom of the dump. Um, just so you can see, here's the entire cartridge and uh, it has a neoprene ring on it uh, and also a backup and another neoprene ring. Most common problem to have with these is this neoprene ring will blow out and a lot of times you'll see it um, kind of blown out around this particular nut. So another common problem to have with this style dump is for the cartridge to actually swell and that can be from misuse or from tightening the nut too tight uh, to hold the coil on. I have always liked to go finger tight uh, just with the, the nut on the end of the coil enough just to hold it in place where it's not going to move around or jounce around. You don't need to tighten it with any tools or anything like that. Um, but with that said, quickest way to check for this particular problem uh, is to see how freely the cartridge slides in and out of the coil. That is true with the Delta dumps uh, and many other dumps that, that are this style. Uh, so a lot of times it's just easy to replace this entire cartridge, uh, which you know is a fairly inexpensive part. And uh, as you can see, I've amassed a, a, quite the collection of parts here over the years for these red Sterling valves. The other thing I wanted to point out is they did have a uh, built-in slowdown valve in them, but uh, I never used that. I always used an external slowdown valve. Uh, because I just didn't like those and setting these ones up. They, they were kind of tough to set up. Uh, but I also do have a coil for a Delta dump and, uh, you know, just some other miscellaneous parts here. Here's uh, another coil for uh, Delta. So you can see that's the logo that the OG Deltas came with and they had like a cover on them. Uh, so that's how you can identify those valves. The other thing too, the, uh, the Delta dumps were a little bit different because the cartridge itself was centered um, and the holes were centered. So basically the cartridge kind of blocks some flow uh, and that would create flow issues. So that is why Reds had offset the hole. Uh, that way it's not disturbing the flow of the hydraulic oil uh, as it's traveling through these uh, particular dump bodies. The industrial valves come with the kits. They're good, but eventually you're going to graduate to something like an ADEX. Uh, these valves close instantly and they're extremely precise. So you're going to feel a huge difference if you go over to an ADEX aircraft type valve uh, over one of these industrial ones. But overall for the money, the, uh, the industrial ones are pretty good for the beginner and, and uh, you know, they're pretty forgiving, easy to maintain versus you know, the ADEX is all wired shut, as you can see. They're not hard to rebuild, but it's one of those valves that you really don't want to open it because it's under warranty. Uh, so I've always 
steered away from that unless somebody else already had cut the wires I'd rebuild dumps for people all the time uh, but you know for the money definitely an industrial valve even though I haven't seen these ones on the market for an extremely long time are a good value for the money so that wraps up today's video about industrial dump valves that covers the sterling valves the deltas uh, even the, uh, the Italian ones that came out a lot later. Uh, but these are uh, pretty reliable valves for the most part. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a like. If you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.